Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here in the Center Ascended series. In the last video, we expanded our reptilian collection by taming a breeding pair of Nothosaurus and getting lucky enough to not only have the first egg give us the perfect stat combination, but also a health mutation on top of that. We also ventured back into the swamp to tame a max level Dinosuchus that we found in a previous episode, and now we just have one more problem. You see, with all of these new creatures, the base is getting pretty dang crowded. So yeah, peeps, I'm thinking today might be the day we finally decide to move bases. Our wooden shack here has served us well. It's it's definitely a, a still a really nice kind of little quaint build that we made, but I mean, Look, look at this. I can't even use my back door anymore. <laughs> There's a giant fabricator in the way. I don't even have a place to put a generator. It's it's not great, peeps. We are rapidly running out of room, and our, our beaches are just absolutely filled to the brim with so many creatures, most of which I don't even need, but I can't bring myself to uh, 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 dispose of <laughs> because that's rude. And yeah, so I think I think today we need to move. But first, first we need a Bob dance. Hello, Bob. Oh gosh, please. Yes. And hello, Bob. How's your rock doing? You uh, you doing good? Oh wait, peeps. That means that means we're gonna have to move Bob soon. Oh gosh, am I stuck? Okay, I thought I was trapped. All right, let's turn the HUD back on. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to move Bob out of his rock soon because obviously, if I move bases, Bob has to come with us. So. That'll be a that'll be a sad moment if that happens later in this episode, separating Bob from his rock. Maybe we'll be able to find him a new rock in the in the new base location. But also, peeps, everyone, please say hello to oh gosh. First of all, Japanese Wagyu ribeye, <laughs> which of course why why not right? And also, kind of a get out of my head moment because I've been recently watching a lot of steak videos on YouTube. I've been getting into cooking my own steaks, and it's just really weird that, of course, as soon as I do that, you peeps recommend a steak name for one of my creatures. You in my walls? You in my walls, peeps? Pay rent. <laughs> but no, anyway, we also have Hot Dog, the Nothosaurus, who, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good name, I would say. Not as cursed, definitely, definitely still in the realm of cursed, but not as cursed. Now, what is a slightly cursed name is, I guess actually, uh, Floppy Lizard Boy isn't that cursed either, but we do have this baby because one, orange color mutation looks beautiful with these blue spots, but it's also a, a weight mutation, which is nice. Also, 420 weights. Haha, <laughs> the, the funny. You're all laughing at home, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we have this guy growing up, and actually, peeps, Floppy Lizard Boy and Hot Dog were extremely close in the votes. I think Hot Dog won by, like, only three votes. Hot Dog had 23 votes, and Floppy Lizard Boy had 20, so that just goes to show that if you want a name to win, you gotta go into the comments, and you gotta like the names that you see that, that you actually want my creatures to be named, because sometimes... It is very close, but yes, peeps, like I said, today we're going to be looking for a new base location, and I already have a spot in mind that I would at least like to check before we start building anywhere, and that's the underwater bubble. I don't super remember where it is. I just know that somewhere underwater, I believe in this direction, there is a little bubble. Well, that's actually quite a big bubble that you can breathe and build in. I think that would be a pretty interesting base location, especially considering we have so many semi-aquatic creatures. It would be real easy to just swim in and out of it because, you know, semi-aquatics can swim. That's how they work. But uh, yeah, so we are gonna need a little bit of method to breathe underwater. I don't have scuba. I could probably make scuba. Let's see, nope, can't even make scuba, but thankfully we have poor man scuba in the form of Lazarus. Okay, thought we had Lazarus Shouter, but apparently we don't. I <laughs> thankfully can probably make Lazarus Shouter. It is Lazarus Shouter, right? That I'm thinking of that gives you like water breathing or at least reduced oxygen stuff. Yeah, consume it to slow your rate of oxygen consumption while underwater, and it lasts for 15 minutes, so that's pretty dang good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few of these and I will be right back. 
And there we go. We now have a total of five Lazarus Shadow, which should, in theory, be more than enough for all of our underwater adventures here today. Let's go ahead, put away some of the things. Let's not throw away the charcoal because in, in this series, it actually is useful. Oh gosh, am I out of storage? Oh no. Oh no. All right, we are completely out of storage. All right, yeah, things are just more reason. Oh my, I, I, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to put it in here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there's more reasons for us to have to move relatively now. All right, well, let's uh, let's go ahead, get on hot dog, and 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 I guess start looking for this water bubble. Now, this is a little nerve wracking, peeps. I'm not gonna lie, because in this series we've had a lot of close encounters with the Leviathan. Thankfully. None of them have been lethal because none of them I've been spotted. But now, oh my God, we are <laughs> forced to go down into the waters. And yes, I know I could disable fog to see nice and easily and it would be oh so convenient, but I'm not gonna do that because that just is, that's cheating. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, like that's just cheating. <laughs> it's it's so lame to do that, but you know what I'm gonna do? Well, uh, there, there's this group here. I'm gonna go ahead, do a bit of tail smackies, and that should maybe, yeah, that is fully charged us. Look at that bar climbing. <laughs> All right, and I think, what is it, alt? It's left control and then right click. I'm gonna go to energy bubble. Oh, I forgot to actually use the Lazarus chowder. That's pretty silly of me. And if we get spotted by anything horrific, we can go ahead and energy bubble, and hopefully that'll stop things from killing me, because I do think it, it inflicts like the jellyfish stun. So yeah, hopefully if we're being chased, we won't die. But here we go into the blimey blue. We also have to be careful of, you know, the classic deep sea creatures like Mosa and, and Plesios, and, and I think there's also a Tylosaurus that I've added. We haven't seen it yet. Okay, you guys are still following me. Good to know. Smack, smack, <laughs> get rid of them. Uh, I, I think I would also like to look for peeps is a Dunkley. A high level Dunkley would be pretty nice to get in this series considering there's a, actually a lot of underwater nodes on the center. So if we can get a Dunkley, that would be pretty cool. I would like that. So we're gonna keep our eyes open for that. But uh, currently, I can't see much of anything, and I don't know how deep this underwater bubble is. Also, we have to remember, we do have C to do a quick burst of speed to get away from the deadly, deadly creatures that may or may not chase us. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm overreacting. This will just be a nice, calming journey to the bubble. Again, wherever that bubble is. Wow, it just keeps going down. Oh, I guess not. That is the ground right there. All right, that means we're very deep. <laughs> Oh, still nervous. Oh, the first, <laughs> the first most is an alpha because why wouldn't it be, dude? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we're not going to be messing with that. We can meet. Well, actually, hold on. I am remembering that the, the wild creature damage is two and a half times higher in this series. So maybe, maybe we couldn't beat an alpha Mosa. Let's not test our luck. Maybe. <laughs> Oh man, I probably should have done research, peeps, as to where this bubble is. But I think it's more fun this way. Because this means I'm gonna have to be in the water for longer. And that that increases the chances that we run into a deadly, deadly creature. And that's just more comedy for you guys. What was that? Hi. It was like I thought I thought like I thought oh is that a Leviathan? No. Okay. Oh, yes! Oh, it's a Shasta! Hi! Hello! Oh my god. Hey! You're not supposed to be hostile? Rude! Oh my gosh. Alright, fair enough, I guess. Ow, ow, my- Oh my gosh, okay, the knockback on that is crazy! Alright, I get it! I get it! I'll leave! Why is it hostile? I didn't- I didn't- I thought Shasta were peaceful creatures! What the heck? So rude. <laughs> At least it wasn't a Leviathan, though. Oh my gosh. Where is this dang bubble, dude? And why is the ocean so large? Ooh. Okay, that's that's also not 
not the bubble. <laughs> Let's get away from that. Ooh. 135 with actually really... Oh, where'd it go? Come back. You had good stats. Oh, there you are. Okay, you're way over here. Oh my gosh, why are you in the weeds? Yeah, but look at that. Great health, good weight, great stamina as well. It just says bad melee. Oh my god. Okay, you they're aggressive. Okay, that, that genuinely scared me. Oh! Alright. That's our shouter. Is did it wear off? Oh, it wore off. Oh, that did not feel like I don't think that was 15 minutes game. Oh my gosh, wow, we were really deep underwater. There we go. Alright, where even are we right now? We are here, wherever here is. But uh cool. So I guess I'll mark this spot on the map. There is a one three five dunk cool so we can come back to that eventually I don't, we don't really have the taming facilities right now to get a dunkly we have a ramshackle crossbow and uh i'm gonna be honest i don't think that's good enough uh, oh there's a 95 as well but uh yeah so good to know we know where i think that was a female dunk is so i guess we just got to keep our eyes peeled see if we can find a male and oh my gosh dude the ocean is so so deep why is it so deep <laughs> and where is this bubble somewhere i'm sure oh my god what is happening why is everything green no 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 why is everything green why is everything green why is everything green why is everything green what is that oh did i get ammonite biled gosh dang it <laughs> it's Oh, get away from me, turtles. Oh my gosh. Okay, I do no damage to turtles. Okay. That was a little scary. I got, like, ammonite biled or something. Alright. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh! Stay away, dude! It was right under me. Holy heck. No, okay. We, we keep going. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Ignore that. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, did, wait, did it do that to me? Or did I get Ammonite biled? I don't know. I, I genuinely, I don't know. I don't want to find out either. Wow, it's just blue. It's just blue, dude. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Stop pooping. <laughs> it scares the crap out of me every time. Pun not intended. It was scary to hear something coming. <gasps> Mosa? Hey! Wow, dude. Mosas are tiny. How much damage does a Mosa do? Oh, gosh. That's not even a high level. Ow. I do kind of want to kill you, though, just because uh, eventually I would like to get my own Mosa, and I would like to clear up the spawns, right? Ah, why? The turn radius! Okay, Osa OP, clearly. Dude, what is this turn? All right, you know what? I think I could probably... <gasps> oh my God, what is this, the Mosa gang? What is this? <laughs> Three Mosa? What? All right, I'm down to clown. All right, bring it on, boy, yeah. Boom! Get the tail smackies! Alright, thankfully none of them are alphas. Oh, they, they are doing a decent amount of damage to me, though, I will say. But thankfully I'm doing a decent amount of damage to them as well. Alright, let's do another tail whip. Boom! Boom! I think I hit... Ah! Ah, the damage! Okay, we're, we might have to flee this fight. This is this is hurting me a lot. Alright, and let's do a tail whip. Boom! Oh, this one's dead! Alright, there we go. One most is down. Oh, gosh dang it. Unfortunately, I don't think I was able to harvest that corpse. Come on. Ow. All right, I just need like one more hit and we can use our energy bubble again. Oh man, maybe, uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we leave. Maybe we leave. All right, fighting three Moses while damage is increased for a while, it's probably not the smartest idea. <laughs> but that was, that was pretty comedic. Just three Moses or two Moses rolling up on me to protect their buddy. <laughs> like what the heck? All right, well, I guess let's chill at the surface and, uh, Spam heal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. 
Hi, Alpha Mosa. Hi, Shasta! It's the same Shasta! Ah, from before! Now nah, get away! Get away from me! Has that guy been following me this whole time? Or have I just wandered back into his territory? Leave me alone! I've done nothing to you! Ah, why? Why? Why are you mean? What'd I do to you? <gasps> Is this it? Yo! We found it! Wah! Sploosh! Oh god, that looked like it hurt. But here it is! Cool! Okay, where is it? Where is it? Alright, we are... Oh, bro, I was I was near here. Gosh dang it. Okay, but here we go. The bubble. Bubble. The buble. Yes! Alright! Oh, that's cool. And look at this. We've got, like, ruins here. I can, like, make, like, the base entrance be right here. And then just, like, and then we're out into the into the open ocean. All right, I'm kind of glad. I was really nervous that this was gonna get camped by. Well, that was a little weird. <laughs> like camped by leviathans. But here we go, peeps. So this is where I think I would like to build. It's actually pretty well lit in here. I'm not gonna lie. Like that was my main concern is that it was gonna be very dark and hard to see. But this is pretty solid lighting, and I think even at night. It still kind of looks like this. Now, I do think there is a second bubble, but I believe this is the better one for building from at least what I've seen on, on, on videos and stuff. Look at that, dude. That looks really cool. But yeah, I think this one's better for building just because it's more... Oh, my God. What the heck was that? Just everything got dark for a second. Look at that. We can see everything. This. Oh, wow. Is that because of you? Are you doing that, Nothosaurus? I can't tell. Uh oh, well, if that's if that's a thing, I might not want to build here because that's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, so I think we can clear this out. And well, here, let's walk around without the Nothosaurus and see if uh, that the, like reverse flash bang happens. The dark bang. Oh, that sounds wrong. All right, ignore that. But uh, yeah, I think, actually, I think I would like to build kind of back here in this corner. And I, there's a trick, peeps, that I've recently learned that you can do in ASA to build kind of diagonally. I kind of want to mess with that and see if we could do anything cool with that in this base location. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be the spot. It looks pretty cool. It'll look way better once I clear out a lot of these trees and rocks. Thankfully, there are a lot of trees and rocks in here that'll let us actually get a lot of resources. And oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be something bringing <laughs> bringing the the beaver down here. Well, I guess I guess you know what we should probably do. We should probably go make cryopods first. Cryopods and a cryo fridge. We should have yeah. We have everything we need to make these. Even the polymer, I believe. So let's go ahead and make these. That'll get transporting things down here a lot easier. And then the all, yeah, all we have to do left is start building. Uh, I'm very glad there's no Leviathan just just camping. <laughs> that would have that would have sucked. Yeah, let's get back to base, make some cryopods, and and then we can start slowly but surely transporting our resource gatherers, and then I rude, and then gathering resources, and everything will be hunky dory, and surely no Leviathan will glitch into the bubble and kill me. Right? That's <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> Wait, hold on, peeps. I just realized it's currently raining, you know, on the surface, but it's it's also raining in here. <laughs> How does that work, video game? <laughs> my immersion. It's being destroyed, giant electrical lizard, by immersion. <laughs> no, but uh, anyway, we've got our little crowd fridge set up, and I've brought all of our harvesters as well as our Sarko, uh, just because... I wanted to, I guess. Like, I don't want to get stranded anywhere without something that can swim quickly. So, no, I don't want to throw out him first. Let's go ahead and throw out galvanized square steel beams. And can't fit. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. But surely not. Surely not, Ark. Please. Do I have to throw them outside of the bubble? That would be really dumb. 
No, that even that's not working for some reason. Uncle Osteus, could you help me? Whoa. Oh, nope. There you go. Okay, that that's really stupid. <laughs> I have to throw them so far out of the bubble for them to work. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe oh, I can't see. <laughs> maybe this isn't an ideal base location. Galvan, I oh there you are. Now come back, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, really? Really, Ark. Alright, I'm going to immediately go see if there's a mod that fixes that, because that's a little redonkulous. Maybe it just didn't work for the beaver. Maybe it'll work for our bear. Nope. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go see if there's any mods that fix that, because that's a little ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you peeps in a bit. Alright, peeps. So, I'm back, and it's bad news, and then worse news. So, the bad news is that not only is that an issue, it's been an issue since ASE. So, if they haven't fixed it for ASA, that probably means it's not a glitch and it is, in fact, intentional. I don't know why on earth they would do that. Probably to some PvP reason, <laughs> but there are also just no mods to, you know, fix that or make it possible. At least not that I saw in my very brief look through the mod workshop. But apparently, because I, I did research just in case, like some quick Google searches, apparently you can't even hatch eggs in the underwater domes like they just count down to zero and and then that's it like they, do, they don't hatch which is mind-blowing to me and i guess like that i mean that's a complete deal breaker like i could have i could have lived without cryopods right like they're not it, it, it would have sucked but it wouldn't have been the biggest deal in the world but not being able to hatch eggs is kind of crazy especially because i I love to do breeding. This is just a wild Nothosaurus. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, I love to do like mutations and stuff in my series. So that would have been just really frustrating to have to build another like surface base anyway, just to do that stuff. So that sucks. So I guess, yeah, we're just going to have to go ahead and find a, a different base location. I'm so sad, dude. That would have been so cool to be able to build in a, in a spot like that that lets you see the water. Like, it would have been so cool to like log in one day and a Mosa is swimming around. I really wanted to build there, man. Gosh, dang it. All right, well, anyway, I guess I'll stop being a baby about it and we'll start looking for an actual base location. All righty, peeps. So I'm not super happy with really any location that I've been able to fly around. I've only really kind of searched like this area. I don't really want to build down in the Redwoods. I don't want to go to Volcano Island yet. Like I want to have like a whole video going over there and getting a pyromane and stuff, but I want that to be later. And I don't really want to build anywhere super inland because I want I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of water teams in this series at least I think so I want to I want to build near the water right so I have a place where I can put some of the bigger water creatures like Mosas like Shastas and eventually a Leviathan right so I I need somewhere with pretty substantial ocean access and oops, did not mean to do that and I did go ahead and check out this little floating island here but again I no mainland water access and then if I wanted to put water creatures I'd have to build down here but the water down here actually does spawn hostile creatures so it'd be a whole a whole thing peeps so I don't know I think this island here is going to be our best bet we've got a lot of real is that an alpha hello alpha shark Yes, you are. Maybe I'll kill you for some experience. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of real estate here to work with. And this big rock. Now, I kind of have an idea. I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Because a lot of times in Ark, we're building. I have an idea. And then I, I, my building skills aren't good enough to execute. But it's got all these kind of platforms. So I was thinking maybe we could start down here. And then kind of build up. And maybe around the rock. And make kind of... Like a big old structure on this rock. I'm not 100% sure. I, like, I don't have anything concrete in my mind yet. I kind of 
I like to avoid having a concrete idea because I feel like I build best when I'm kind of just freestyling it, but we're gonna go ahead and try it in this location. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a go. And I guess first things first is we're gonna go, to, we're gonna have to break out the beaver and the doid and just clear a lot of these trees. Thankfully, that'll be a lot of resources for us. So that'll be nice. And yeah, I will see you peeps eventually, probably in a, a while for me, because I'm gonna experiment a lot with designs. And I, th I think I also wanna like here, make kind of like a big seaport. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see and you peeps will see in just a few seconds, but I will see you all in quite a while for me. All right, let's, uh, let's get to work. You know what's interesting, peeps? I think in all, of the time that I have played Ark for my at least 7,000 hours, maybe even close to 10K across all platforms at this point, I don't think I have ever tamed a Megaloceros with the intention of using it to get thatch because that Megalo Megaloceros get thatch pretty dang well. <laughs> and I, I usually just never need a creature to get thatch. So this is just interesting for me. I probably don't need to do this now either, but I don't know, like something something in me was like, you know what? Let's go get a Megaloceros to get our thatch with in this series. And and here we are. I, I managed to find this 140 relatively quickly. So uh, yeah, name suggestions in the comments below for this little deer. And oh boy, are you, please tell me you're gonna knock out before, okay, good, yeah, it should knock out before the bola breaks. And there we go. All right, but yeah, like I said, name suggestions, please. And I haven't started building yet. I'm currently gathering materials. As you can see, we have the virtual storage mod, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite mods. I use this in the monarchy season. And basically this is a way to visualize your storage. So as you can see, we have 15,000 wood in there, bunch of stuff. The fat or the fiber is having texture issues. And that has seemed to spread to other parts of the, this, uh, I don't know why that's happening. Maybe I need to update the mod, but aside from being like a cool visual way to show your storage and a nice actual like amount of storage, this is this acts as wireless crafting, which is really cool. So you can see if I hover in this, you can see I have no stuff to actually make this. You can see in brackets, we have everything that's in these virtual storages and I can pull them, which is super, Super nice considering we don't have S plus and I don't have whatever is replaced S plus in this ascended version of Ark. So yeah, this is just a really cool mod. I like it. And uh yeah, I guess let's uh let's get that deer tamed and then finally get to building. Alrighty peeps, welcome back. It has been a little while and uh, I'm bringing you peeps back because we are basically out of resources. Now we have <laughs> 22 wood left out of 15,000. Our Stone stockpiles are also getting a little low and thankfully the thatch and fiber, they're holding strong as I would expect because yeah, we have 44,000 fiber in here and uh, 16, uh, basically 17,000 thatch. But yeah, before I go ahead and do another big old farming adventure, I figured I might as well bring you peeps back and show you the progress because I almost forgot to do that when I finish the foundation but uh i guess first things first i did say that i was going to try and build up this rock and and i did try peeps i i i, I experimented with a lot of designs but i just I, I wasn't really loving any of them and i'm very much a a function over form kind of player like i want to build a base that is nice to use and actually live in because obviously you could build like a huge, really cool, really impressive wizard tower going up this with like a big structure on that platform over there, big structure there, and that all be interconnected with cool looking hallways, stairs and, and whatnot. But imagine actually living in a base like that. Like, like, let's say you have to enter from here. You want to get to storage. Let's say you were smart and you built storage close to the entrance and it's like right here, but then you want to go to the kitchen to make some soups and you gotta go all the way up there. And then you're like, oh wait, while I'm in the kitchen, I might as well craft some more grapples. So you gotta go all the way up there to the grappling to, or to the crafting room. And it's just, you know what I mean, peeps? It's, uh, it'd be a little annoying. And I was struggling to figure out a cool design, especially because I don't have a tapajara to build with. Now I've, I've been using a, or 
our flying iron transporter here to kind of build with, but you don't have the omnidirectional movement that a Tapajara has, so it just got it just got tedious, peeps. I'm gonna be honest. So I figured I might as well just build something else impressive down here, and I guess I'll go ahead and fly up and show you guys the you know the overall shape of the foundation. So we've got a very big and impressive kind of entrance here. And then this will be the shape of the base. You see, we've got three little prongs here, a section here that goes kind of deep. And this is where the industrial forge will be. I did, you know, calculate the height to be basically like the industrial forge will come just a little bit above where this ho uh, hole is. So I think that might look pretty cool. I'm going to expand this to be a second floor. And I think what I'm going to do is because i want to finish the main structure first but i i might have an add-on right here like i'll put a stairway here and this will lead into like a big dock that goes out here now i'm not 100 sure on if that's exactly what i'll do but i do want to connect the base to a water pen of sorts because i think that would look pretty cool it is currently on stilts but uh, later i'll i'll clean this up and like put walls going all the way down so it actually looks like it's a foundation and then i still might build up just to like make something that looks interesting because i'm not really sure what to do with these like tiny little wings here because i can't make them that big because i mean obviously over here we have a lot of room but then we have the big dang rock on this side so i don't know i don't know peeps we'll see as i continue building you guys know i'm a very like by the seat of my pants kind of builder i i i go as I go along. But yeah, I guess I'll I'll disable the hood and we'll go up a little higher just in case you peeps wanna like maybe pause and copy the foundation design. I know there's a big dumb Argentavis in the way. Here, maybe I can, uh, oh wait, hold on. We can use photo mode, right? There we go. And then, uh, yeah, so there you go, peeps. This is what it looks like. I know a lot of you like to copy my bases. I, I will not be making a tutorial because like I said, I don't plan these out when I build them. So, uh, I, I, I couldn't make a tutorial even if I tried. Yeah, this is what the base looks like. Hopefully it'll look better the next time I see you peeps. And yeah, I guess let's go ahead, get to farming, and I'll see you peeps in a little bit. Alrighty, peeps, the house is finally done. Well, sort of. There's still some things I want to do with it, but I feel like I'm through enough to show you guys. So here it is. This behemoth of a base. I, I think this might be one of the biggest bases I have ever built. The, the one in my Extinction series definitely takes the cake for absolute biggest, but I feel like this is a close second, and I feel like this is absolutely my my best looking base. This thing, it just, it looks so nice. Look, look at this. It's got that little, little uh, kind of like lighthouse spire on top of the multiple floors. I've got a proper, like, like like pillared i don't even know what this is actually called in like in uh architect terms but it looks really good i finally started using the uh i i, I, I guess triangle sloped walls with the frontier skins to do these really cool windows and oh peeps it's just so good i'm really proud of this base actually it's, it's taking me forever to make but thankfully these uh visual storage things are an absolute lifesaver because you just get the materials and then you can just craft anything in your inventory. You don't even need to like pull like you do in S plus. It's it's actually very convenient. And thankfully, this isn't a bad place to farm. We've got a lot of trees. Uh, the stone is actually very annoying to get because not a lot of stone spawns on the actual island. There's a couple of nodes back here, but mostly what I had to do is get the doid and swim in the water and break water rocks. It was a pain. I died of drowning at least twice. It's, it's very goofy, but yes, here is the base. I guess let's go ahead and show it from the front aerial. Yeah, there we go, peeps. Yeah, the main thing I haven't finished yet is the lighting, and obviously it's not furnished yet. It's probably not gonna be fully furnished for a few episodes. We are barely in the industrial tier and I already have a mansion. But yeah, so from the front, looks absolutely gorgeous. From the sides, it's a little weird, but I, I actually do like what I've done. I've got more balconies on the side, and over here, we've got a like 
viewing area, which is really cool. Then here is the back of the base. This is going to be the breeding room. And as you can see, we've got two dino gates just for, you know, symmetry. That It's not really more function than one dino gate, but I don't know. It just it looks pretty cool. Of course, another balcony on top of the dino gates and a nice little ramp for our creatures to leave after we hatch them or I guess bird them from mammals. And and then of course we have the roof, which I just it looks really nice. I wish I wish I could make like a lighthouse, like an actual genuine huge light that's circled. I think that'd be pretty dang cool. I'm sure eventually someone will make a mod for it, but uh. Unfortunately, I don't think that day is today, but yes, let's go ahead and actually look inside. Let me give you guys the grand tour. So here we go. First, we have, I guess the, the, what do you even call this? A, a now not a deck, I, I guess a patio and we've got water here. I'm sad that we don't have triangle crop, crop plots. I completely forgot that was a part of S plus. So I wanted to have triangle crop plots here and I was going to put berries and it was going to look nice, but of course. We only have square crop plots in the vanilla game and the squares are actually too big. Like they stick out of the railing. So I decided to just have water be here. We do have crop plots here though. Of course, they're not uh, seeded or growing anything because I we don't even have a dung beetle to get fertilizer yet, peeps. So the fertilizer is a very slow, but of course, once we actually do get these growing, it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. And then here we are, the main entrance, three doors, because I am that extra. I guess technically six doors, because each door is two doors. So <laughs> there you go. Pick your poison and how you want to enter. And here we are. This is the main room. It's kind of dark, even with all the lights I have. The, the frontier lights, they look great, but man, they don't provide any lights. <laughs> like, like those lamps are barely lighting up. The small little walls that they're on. The chandeliers barely do anything. It's 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 a struggle. So I'm probably gonna have to put actual like good lights in here so it's not super dark. But either way, here it is. This is going to be where the industrial forge is. I believe I told you guys that before I like when I was showing you the foundation. And I think we're also gonna have crafting right here. We got a generator here. I've got a second generator uh stored <laughs> in the in the basement the the skeleton here just because that generator back there it, it just the base is so big that that generator can't reach the lights out front so i needed a second generator to reach all the lights and then we have back here this will be the baby cre uh, creation room question mark i'm gonna have a bunch of fridges a bunch of air conditioners in here and uh we've got water in here because i, I go afk doing muta mutations so much i I might as well put water in there. Then we have these two little wings here. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these. These turned out to be a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought they would be. Uh, but uh, I guess that's a good thing because you can always fill up space with like kind of decorative items like chairs and tables and, and stuff. But I feel like this will be kitchen and over here could be like dedicated crafting area. I was going to have crafting stuff in here. Like that's what these little pockets were for, but I feel like it'd be better to use one of the wings instead. Then we have these rooms. I truly have no idea what to do with these rooms. I might use these as storage, to be honest, like put a bunch of visual storage stuff in in these two little mini wings, because I guess that kind of makes sense as like like having these be a storehouse. It's a massive room, though. I didn't I, I kind of over designed it a little bit, but yeah, that's the first floor. Now we have the second floor. Also, check out these these stairs. I really like how these look like going just with normal stairs and then curved stairs split at the top. That looks pretty dang cool. We have the first balcony here, a pretty sizable balcony, more crop lots here just to again, look nice when we get actual crops and uh, more of these things. I like this like next balcony. Oh, it's got this in the middle. I think that looks really good. And uh, yeah, just a nice view of the front yard, the ocean. All right, let's head back in. And here we go. We've walled these parts off. I like using the railings as kind of like pseudo see-through walls. I, I, as you peeps can tell, I love open designs in my in my bases. So it's a little bit much to look at when you're viewing it the first time, especially because it's kind of dark. It's hard to see detail. But uh, once it gets more well lit and you peeps get more accustomed to seeing the base, I'm sure it'll look better. Then we have these kind of extra bonus areas or not bonus. Areas. You see what I mean? Like, I thought that was turned off. It, it's providing so much or so little light, but 
I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. Maybe these could be like this could be Bob's spot and over there could be buggies when we eventually get a buggy. And this, of course, leads to the balcony that is on top of the doors for the breeding room. And of course, more crop plots out here. If I wanted to, I could access the roof from here, but we don't need to do that because we have an actual proper way to get to the roof which is going to be up these stairs. Now, this is kind of like an intermediate area, like a nice, interesting ring. What is, what is this? What, did I just never finish this? Okay, well, that's, that's silly. I'm gonna have to go do that. But yeah, so this doesn't really lead anywhere in particular, except to just the, the final balcony, which again, I think this one is just my favorite one. It's, it's small. I can't really put anything up here. Maybe like a chair <laughs> that looks off over there. But uh, I just, I, I love how it goes around this. It's just, I really like it in my opinion, my biased opinion. Then we have the way to the roof. Another two stairs here kind of parallel to each other. I think that looks nice. Then we have one door back here and one over there. Each one for kind of each stairway. And this of course leads to the roof. And up here we can keep our RGs, any other flyers that we get, especially in these sections where it kind of bulges out a little bit with these triangles. Like, nice, like a nice RG perches here. And yeah, I guess that is the base. We are not done. Oops. Yeah, we're not done yet though, peeps. Oh, hold on, wait, how much fall damage am I gonna take jumping all the way down? Oh my gosh, half my health. Could you imagine if that killed me? But uh, yeah, so we're not done yet, peeps, because over, yeah, right here, we have a just kind of drop because like I mentioned in the foundation, this is going to lead to the water pen. So it's gonna be kind of like a big bridge and then it's gonna lead to all the way over there. I'm hoping I can make it look nice. I really am hoping, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. I gotta do that next. That's a lot of building today. This is just a balcony, by the way, this opposite side. There's also a balcony above this and then above that, there's another balcony. Another thing that I, I added kind of right before I decided to like show you peeps is this area. I don't, it, like it's got really no purpose but i decided i did want this to be greenhouse walls just because as nice as the frontier walls or not walls but windows look i i just i like greenhouse i don't really like greenhouse that much anymore because now it just kind of looks like plastic like you people see what i mean i don't know if, how well that'll appear on youtube but in game it kind of looks like it's like a clear plastic it's very strange so they don't look glass anymore so I don't know, but I, I still think it looks pretty neat to have them here be little observation-ish areas. But uh, yeah, let me know what you peeps think of these. And I guess I <laughs> will start to get to work on, ow, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm actually almost about to die. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start to getting to work on the water pen. Thankfully, this won't take as long unless I decide to be extremely extra with decorating and stuff, which you know me, I might, it might, be a thing. But yeah, I will see you peeps in a little bit. And at long last, the base is finished. Here is the water pen. I, uh, I, I kind of made it big. I didn't know. I've never really made a dedicated water pen before, so I wasn't quite sure how large to make it, but I was thinking at some point, I would like to get Mosas and Leviathans and, and Tussos, probably, and Dunkleys. And I was thinking maybe I should actually make this quite large, especially if I plan to do aquatic breeding. So, yeah, we've got this big old bridge that goes out here and just some, you know, bits that let me go into the water just in case I fall off or need to get back onto the bridge or just easily access my water teams. Of course, we've got behemoth gates as the main things uh, facing the ocean. And thankfully, this is completely encased. It took uh, so much stone. It took so much stone because these walls go all the way to the ocean floor and there's a lot of them. And uh, it gets actually quite deep over here. I'll go ahead and show you like, uh, well, I guess that's a bad example, but over there you can see it gets pretty dang deep. So yeah, so massive area over there. We've got a second dock over there just so, I, I don't know, I just thought it would be nice to have one over there. And it goes smoothly into the base right here. So yeah, peeps, that is our newest base built and 
finished. Well, again, not not completely finished. I still want to put more lights in, and obviously we now have to move into the base. But for this episode, I I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with calling it an episode here. Aberration should be coming out in a, a, about an hour. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get ready to do that. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty keen to end this episode here, peeps. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the base, and I see you all in the next video. What? 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 <laughs> Why are both of these to change my hat? Bye bye. <laughs>